rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Dearly beloved brethren, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with a humble, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by His infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do when we assembled and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at His hands, to set forth His most worthy praise, to hear His most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary, as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many are, as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying after me, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults, Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, and hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people being penitent the absolution and remission of the, their sins, he pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord, let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, 
Harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, under whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord, Thou hast searched me out and known me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts long before. Thou art about my path and about my bed, and spiest out all my ways. For lo, there is not a word in my tongue, but Thou, O Lord, knowest altogether. Thou hast fashioned me behind and before, and laid Thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful and excellent for me. I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go then from thy spirit, or whither shall I go then from thy presence? If I climb up into heaven, thou art there. If I go down to hell, thou, thou art there also. If I take the wings of the morning and remain in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there also shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, peradventure the darkness shall cover me, then shall my night be turned to day. Yea, the darkness is no darkness with thee, but the night is as clear as the day. The darkness and light to thee are both alike, for my reins are thine. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks unto thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My bones are not hid from thee, though I be made secretly and fashioned beneath in the earth. Thy eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book were all my members written, which day by day were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How dear are thy counsels unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I tell them that they are more in number than the sand, when I wake up, I am present with thee. Wilt thou not slay the wicked, O God? Depart from me, ye bloodthirsty men, for they speak unrighteously against thee, and thy enemies take thy name in vain. Do I not hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? Yea, I hate them right sore, even as though they were my enemies. Try me, O God, and seek the ground of my heart. Prove me and examine my thoughts. Look well if there be any way of wickedness in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Deliver me, O Lord, from the wicked man, and preserve me from the wicked man, who imagined mischief in their hearts and stir up strife all the day long. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent, and as poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the ungodly. Preserve me from the wicked men, who are purposed to overthrow my goings. The proud have laid a snare for me, and spread a net abroad with cords, yea, and set traps in my way. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. Hear the voice of my prayers, O Lord. O Lord God, Thou strength of my health. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Let not the ungodly have his desire, O Lord. Let not his mischief imagination prosper, lest thou be too proud. Let the mischief of their own lips fall upon the head of them that can pass me about. Let hot burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire and into the pit, that they never rise up again. A man full of words shall not prosper upon the earth, Evil shall hunt the wicked person to overthrow him. Sure I am that the Lord will avenge the poor and maintain the cause of the helpless. The righteous also shall give thanks unto thy name, and the just shall continue in thy sight. Lord, I call upon thee, haste thee unto me, and consider my voice when I cry unto thee. 
Let my prayer be set forth in thy sight as the incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, and keep the door of my lips. O let not my heart be inclined to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in ungodly works with the men that work wickedness, lest I eat of such things as please them. Let the righteous rather smite me friendly and reprove me, but let not their precious balms break my head. Yea, I will pray yet against their wickedness. Let their judges be overthrown in stony places, that they may hear my words, for they are sweet. Our bones lie scattered before the pit, like as when one breaketh and heweth wood upon the earth. But my eyes look unto thee, O Lord God, in thee is my trust. O cast not out my soul, keep me from the snare that they have laid for me, and from the traps of the wicked doers. Let the ungodly fall into their own nets together, and let me ever escape them. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the twelfth chapter of the book of the prophet Isaiah. And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee, though thou was angry with me. Thy anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song, he also is become my salvation. Therefore with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord. Call upon his name. Declare his doings among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion. For great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Here endeth the first lesson. We praise Thee, O God, we acknowledge Thee to be the Lord. All the earth does worship Thee, the Father everlasting. To Thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To Thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of, a, of the apostles praise thee. The godly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world does acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty. Thy honourable, true and only son. Also the Holy Ghost, the comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When Thou tookest upon Thee to deliver man, Thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When Thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, Thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe Thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray Thee, help Thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thy heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Here beginneth the 21st chapter of the Gospel according to John. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias, and on his wise showed he himself. There were together Simon Peter, and Thomas called Didymus, and Nathanael of Cana in Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee, and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter saith unto them, I go a-fishing. They say unto him, We also go, go with thee. 
They went forth and entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. But when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus saith unto them, Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved saith unto Peter, It is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girt his fish's coat unto him, for he was naked, and he cast himself into the sea. And the other disciples came in a little ship, for they were not far from land, but as it were two hundred cubits, dragging the net with fishes. As soon as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish laying thereon, and bread. Jesus saith unto them, Bring of the fish which ye have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land, full of great fish, a hundred and fifty-three, and for all there were so many, yet was not the net broken. Jesus saith unto them, Come and dine. And none of the disciples durst ask him, Who art thou? Knowing that it was the Lord. Jesus then cometh and taketh bread and giveth them, and fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus showed himself to his disciples, after that he was risen from the dead. So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, love thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved, because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, When thou wast young, thou girdest thyself, and walkest whither thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and another shall gird thee, and carry thee with uh, thou wouldest not. This spake he, signifying by what death he should glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he saith unto him, Follow me. Then Peter, turning about, seeth the disciple whom Jesus loved following, which also leaned on his breast at supper, and said, Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee? Peter, seeing him, saith to Jesus, Lord, what shall this man do? Jesus saith unto him, If I will he that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Then went this saying abroad among the brethren, that the disciple should not die. Yet Jesus did not, uh, said not unto him, he shall not die, but if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? This is the disciple which testifieth of these things, and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things which Jesus did, for which if they should be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. Here endeth the second lesson. O be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O oh, go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. 
The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the King, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endure thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thy inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, may clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Stir up, we beseech thee, O Lord, the wills of thy faithful people, that they plenteously bringing forth the fruit of good works may of thee be plenteously rewarded through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, Defend us, thy humble servants, in all the assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is, that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, high and mighty, King of kings, Lord of lords, the only ruler of princes, who does from thy throne behold all the dwellers upon earth. Most heartily we beseech thee with thy favour to behold our most gracious sovereign Lord, King Charles, and so replenish him with the grace of thy Holy Spirit, that he may always incline to thy will and walk in thy way. Endure him plenteously with heavenly gifts. Grant him in health and wealth long to live. Strengthen him that he may vanquish and overcome all his enemies. And finally, after this life, you maintain everlasting joy and felicity through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we humbly beseech thee to bless Queen Camilla, William, Prince of Wales, the Princess of Wales, and all the royal family. Endure them with thy Holy Spirit, enrich them with thy heavenly grace. Prosper them with all happiness, and bring them to thy everlasting kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, the Father of heaven, have mercy upon us miserable sinners. O God, the Father of heaven, have mercy upon us miserable sinners. O God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us miserable sinners. O God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us miserable sinners. 
O God, the Holy Ghost, proceeding from the Father and the Son, have mercy upon us, miserable sinners. O God, the Holy Ghost, proceeding from the Father and the Son, have mercy upon us, miserable sinners. O holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, three persons in one God, have mercy upon us, miserable sinners. O holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, three persons in one God, have mercy upon us, miserable sinners. Remember not, Lord, our offences, nor the offences of our forefathers, neither take thou vengeance of our sins. Spare us, good Lord, spare thy people, whom thou hast redeemed with thy most precious blood, and be not angry with us for ever. Spare us, good Lord, from all evil and mischief, from sin, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from thy wrath and from everlasting damnation. Good Lord, deliver us from all blindness of heart, from pride, vainglory, and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred, and malice, and all uncharitableness. Good Lord, deliver us from fornication and all other deadly sin, and from all the deceits of the world, the flesh, and the devil. Good Lord, deliver us from lightning and tempest, from plague, pestilence, and famine, from battle and murder and from sudden death. Good Lord, deliver us from all sedition, privy conspiracy and rebellion, from all false doctrine, heresy and schism, from hardness of heart and contempt of thy word and commandment. Good Lord, deliver us by the mystery of thy holy incarnation, by thy holy nativity and circumcision, by thy baptism, fasting, and temptation. Good Lord, deliver us by thy agony and bloody sweat, by thy cross and passion, by thy precious death and burial, by thy glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Ghost. Good Lord, deliver us in all time of our tribulation, in all time of our wealth, in the hour of death and in the day of judgment. Good Lord, deliver us. We sinners do beseech thee to hear us, O Lord God, and that it may please thee to rule and govern thy holy church universal in the right way. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to keep and strengthen it in the true worshipping of thee, in righteousness and holiness of life, thy servant Charles, our most gracious King and Governor. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to rule his heart in thy faith, fear, and love, and that he may evermore have a fiance in thee, and ever seek thy honour and glory. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to be his defender and keeper, giving him the victory over all his enemies. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to bless and preserve our gracious Queen Camilla, William, Prince of Wales, and all the royal family. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to illuminate all bishops, priests, and deacons with true knowledge and understanding of thy word, and that both by their preaching and living they may set it forth and show it accordingly. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to further the work of thy church in all the world and to send forth laborers into the harvest. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to endure the high court of Parliament and all the ministers of the crown with grace, wisdom, and understanding. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to bless and keep the magistrates, giving them grace to execute justice and to maintain truth. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to bless and prosper the forces of the king by sea, land, and air, and to shield them in all dangers and adversities. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to bless and keep all thy people. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give to all nations unity, peace, and concord. 
we beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give us a heart to love and dread thee, and diligently to live after thy commandments. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give to all thy people increase of grace, to hear meekly thy word and to receive it with pure affection, and to bring forth the fruits of the Spirit. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to bring into the way of truth all such as have erred and are deceived. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to strengthen such as do stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted, and to raise up them that fall, and finally to beat down Satan under our feet. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to succour, help, and comfort all that are in danger, necessity, and tribulation. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to reserve all that travel by land or air or water, all women at labouring of child, all sick persons and young children, and to show thy pity upon all prisoners and captives. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to defend and provide for the fatherless children and widows, and all that are desolate and oppressed. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to have mercy upon all men. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to forgive our enemies, persecutors and slanderers, and to turn their hearts. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give and preserve to our use the kindly fruits of the earth, so as in due time we may enjoy them. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give us true repentance, to forgive us all our sins, negligences, and ignorances, and to endure us with the grace of thy Holy Spirit, to amend our lives according to thy holy word. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Christ, hear us. O Christ, hear us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. O thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, deal not with us after our sins, neither reward us after our iniquities. Let us pray. O Lord, merciful Father, that despises not the sighing of a contrite heart, nor the desire of such as be sorrowful, mercifully assist our prayers that we make before Thee in all our troubles and adversities, whensoever they oppress us and graciously hear us, that those evils which the craft and subtlety of the devil or man worketh against us be brought to naught, and by the providence of thy goodness they may be dispersed, that we, thy servants, being hurt by no persecutions, may evermore give thanks unto thee in thy holy church, through Jesus Christ our Lord. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. O God, we have heard with our ears, and our fathers have declared unto us the noble works that thou didst in their days and in the old time before them. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy honour. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. From our enemies defend us, O Christ. Graciously look upon our afflictions. Pitifully behold the sorrows of our hearts. Mercifully forgive the sins of thy people. Favorably with mercy hear our prayers. 
O Son of David, have mercy upon us. Both now and ever vouchsafe to hear us, O Christ. Graciously hear us, O Christ. Graciously hear us, O Christ. O Lord, let thy mercy be shown upon us as we do put our trust in thee. Let us pray. We humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, mercifully to look upon our infirmities and for the glory of thy name turn from us all those evils that we most righteously have deserved and grant that in our troubles we may put our whole trust and confidence in thy mercy and evermore serve thee in holiness and pureness of living to thy honour and glory through our only mediator and advocate, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and has promised that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen.